Hi, I'm Sarah, park naturalist, and this is your Wildlife Wednesday. Today we're going to be talking about why you should not let animals loose in parks. It's very important that you find the right resource to take your animal, your unwanted animal, to and not release them outside. There are many reasons why you should not release animals into the wild. One of those reasons is they can't always survive in our environment. My friend here, which is a ball python, they cannot survive outside in the wild in Florida. In fact, this guy was rescued from one of our Broward County parks, and now he has become an ambassador animal to show other people why you should not release animals in the wild. Now, for, lucky for him, he was found by some of our park naturalists. He unfortunately was covered in ticks, so he had a, a few vet visits to make himself better, to get him well, and now he's thriving and doing very well. Now, when it comes to your unwanted animals, any kind of animal you do not want to release here in the parks. In fact, we've had dogs, cats, birds, rabbits, all sorts of animals, reptiles, fish, and a lot of these can impact our environment. Depending on the species of the animal, they can affect our parks in different ways. By releasing exotic fish into our canals and waterways, it affects our population of our native fish. It, they take up the resources, their food sources, and their habitat. So we definitely do not want to release aquatic animals. This also includes turtles. One of the big problems we have here in Florida is people releasing their pet red-eared sliders. People don't realize how much work it is to care for some of these animals, and they decide, well, can't do it anymore. Let me just put it in this pond or lake and it'll be fine. No, it will not always be fine, and it can impact our population of native turtles as well. So if you can no longer care for your animal, there are many different resources out there for you. There are many places that you can take that animal so somebody else can take care of it, they can adopt that animal, and it will be safe. One of these resources that you can take your animals to if they are an exotic animal is you can call FWC. FWC has a hotline for people who have exotic animals. Also, if you have a dog, cat, rabbit, some of our common household animals that you can no longer care for, a really good resource out there is the Broward County Animal Care and Adoption Center. There's also other resources out there. Uh, you could find uh, hobby groups online that care for exotic animals. Uh, you can find the Humane Society. There's a lot of different shelters out there that will help you. There are resources. Sometimes you just have to hunt around a little bit, but you wanna make sure that your animal is safe. So as a park naturalist, it's a little disheartening to see when people actually release their animals out here because we want the best for every animal. We care about them. So we want to make sure that they're in the proper place they need to be. Unfortunately, I've seen animals out here that we've tried to rescue that did not make it due to injuries and other things that have happened to them in our park before we could get to them as well. So we want to make sure that everybody out there knows there are resources for you. There are places you can go and take those animals. So please reach out to those organizations if you can. Mm -hmm.